Hi everyone, it's Gio here. Welcome back to GT Online. This is called No Wheels on My Karuma. It's actually a little glitch that was found as a combination between me and a mate man, the guy who's helping me do the video here. Basically, we started off, we managed to knock one wheel off a police car, and yet it still drove, and then he found that with a bit of practice with the Karuma, it was actually possible to knock all four wheels off. And yet the car would not be destroyed, still be able to get in it. As you can see, the method's a little <laughs> brash. Basically, you've got to repeatedly hit it with a tank until you hope the wheels fall off. Now, it seems to take a while, and you've got to watch because your character actually loses health. As you can see, the minimap getting red, so <laughs> you don't die while you're doing it. It's the attempt to crush basically the four corners where the wheels are. Oh, Try and get it destroyed. You do have to be a little bit careful though, because it is possible to destroy the Karuma. <laughs> See in a minute. I don't remember the Karuma, it, although it is armored, it does survive a lot of impact fire. It's actually not bomb proof, it's not explosion proof, so don't try shooting it with the tank. Out. Sort of reminds me of the defamation of, remember GTA 4, you had the um, very powerful gun. There's the explosion. They used to deform cars. Now this seems to do that to an extent. But so if you do it enough, we're about to see it is possible to actually start knocking the wheels off. More body armor. More stuff. There we are. Look, you can see there how it's lost. The wheels just clean up. Just left a stub. Now as you can see, with a bit more work, we got it to this. No wheels. The weird thing is the way it's still. The game will let you get in and out of it, which surprised me. I thought the game was destroyed. Now, what we're trying to do here is I was trying to push it. I wanted to get it into Los Santos Customs. What I actually wanted to do, which I completely forgot, was look at how much the repair cost was going to be. I'd say I unfortunately forgot that. Run it over. But we were trying to... I had to use the insurgent, obviously, because no other vehicle's heavy enough to push the crew around. At this point, the tank's gone. It, it wasn't a personal tank, it was an NPC spawn. I may do a video in a later day of how we got that, because it's actually quite an interesting method of getting one of the NPC tanks. And here we are, this makes me laugh, this screenshot. <laughs> Just the career over there, no wheels. And this is the second part. This is like the second part of the glitch that Mark showed me. As you can see, again now, it appears to me to be when the doors open, what causes this? You see, if you, you hold accelerate and brake and then steer, it will spin on the spot. And as I say, if somebody then opens a the door, how are you doing it? Anyone else reminded of the old swing set glitch? Or the gate launch glitch in the early days of 5? As you can see, it just keeps spinning round. It was quite random, you've not a lot of control over it. You're just going where it wants to go and you're hoping that it can corral it in a decent direction. See here just a few more Matt's character there getting in the wrong car. <laughs> Once you find a game, it's one of them, it's it seems to be totally at random. Sometimes you'll do it and you'll get something very little like that. And then there's other times you'll do it and you send them like that. Now my car just forget the wrong car. Then occasionally you do that. <laughs> the irony here that we're flying towards the cemetery at great speed. It seemed quite fitting really. Possibly gonna die on impact right outside the cemetery. This was really funny, we kept this going for a long time. I've just shown some of the best launches we had. Whoa! You see, and there went Mark. Just vanished. <laughs> Only went just down the road. When you get it right, it does just launch itself. You'll see the next clip. It's probably the best one we did. He went, it was in the air for absolutely ages. As you see, this one here. I get out and just look at the mini-map.
So this is actually sped up footage of me trying to follow him. This, this footage is actually about two minutes worth and all that time he's still pinging around up in the air going in various different directions. All over the place. It starts off right over the van which was and then starts heading back towards the city so I try and give chase. <laughs> Okay, this is about two minutes of footage I've sped up. And he ends up here, he reaches Majestic Apart. Now this one again. Now this is just when Lola got run over. This one's the end, showing... The, obviously the game doesn't like the physics engineers doing it, not as you can probably tell, but... This one here, I'll do it. And I've fallen through the map. Always a sign that the game's not happy with you when it decides to throw you under the map. See there, Max. Put me in a car park, I actually didn't know it was there. Look, we've got a few final clips in of some of the some of the best launches I feel we had. I don't know how long this is gonna work for, chances are these are the ones because it's not really harmful to the game they will get patched. But either way, once you get it right and you get it to launch correctly, you can get some really good <laughs> Distance. Why that? I didn't notice the car ever trying to set on fire or anything, so hopefully it doesn't do itself enough damage to blow up. This, this was actually a uh, freshly bought room, hence the slightly garish colour scheme. It has since been repainted correctly. <laughs> that one with a bit of delayed reaction there. But anyway, that's the video. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it, people. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see ya, goodbye.